And that brings us to the French. And I will say this to the frogs. You might as well gas up the dinghy and go fishing with Fredo, because you are dead to me, OK? You know something? These cats are now putting swastikas on our flags over there. And after we had the good taste to chisel off all the armpit hair before we erected the Statue of Liberty in New York Harbor. <laughs> and I always thought the reason it was tinted green was because of the oxidized copper. Little did I realize it was all envy, huh? <laughs> you know, folks. The French have always been reluctant to surrender to the wishes of their friends and almost anticipatory in their urge to surrender to the wishes of their enemies. And I'll tell you one thing, when the war train pulls out this time, they should not be allowed back on. I would say to them, listen guys, you don't want to fight, you're stuck on the platform. You want to get your hands dirty now, you're just going to have to run them through your own hair, okay? And you know something? <laughs> Everybody's always worried about post-liberation Iraq and who's going to take care of it. Well, I think this will figure itself out. I think we're going to get in there. I think we're going to find some dirty paper on reactor parts, some oil deals, and I think we're going to have it over the French. And that's when you make the call and say, listen, you didn't want to fight? Guess what? You're in charge of the day-to-day -day needs of the noble Iraqi now. I think concierge is a French word, isn't it? <laughs> And you know, if they keep busting our balls, maybe we should just invade Iraq and then invade Chirac. Run an oil pipeline from the fields right over to the base of the Eiffel Tower, shoot it up through, you'll have the biggest oil derrick in the world. Just get Bush standing at the bottom in a cowboy hat with a lariat and a branding iron, putting a big W on Chirac's ass, it'll drive him up a fucking wall. You know. You know, I would call the French scumbags, but that, of course, would be a disservice to bags filled with scum. <laughs> <laughs>